Okay, so this uh, particular lecture is based on transformations involving modulus. So what we have to do is we have to study when what happens when modulus comes in. So modulus can come in to your question with three types. When you have input as mod x, so here the input is mod x, this is the first category. The second category, if I call this first, the second category can be that the whole of the function is inside the mod. That means you have taken the entire mod. Right, this should be the second and the third category could be that where mod y is equal to fx. The mod is on the dependent variable, not the independent variable. So what we are going to kick start with is the when you have a modulus on the independent variable. Here, okay. So what happens here? So let's say आप इसमें क्या लिखेंगे mod x goes to x. So इसमें पहला rule क्या है? वो लिख लेते हैं draw y equal to fx. After doing this, draw y is equal to एफएक्स एज एफ मॉड था ही नहीं आप ये मान लीजिए ठीक है और दूसरा क्या हम क्या करोगे फिर इसमें मॉड एक्स की वजह से इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन यू टेक मॉड एक्स दैट मीन द इनपुट विल नेवर बी नेगेटिव सो व्हाट यू विल डू रिमूव लेफ्ट हाफ सो व्हेन आई से लेफ्ट हाफ लेफ्ट हाफ का क्या मतलब है जो कुछ भी बन रहा था एक्स लेस देन 0 के लिए यू विल रिमूव दैट रिमूव लेफ्ट हाफ ठीक है दैट इज एक्स लेस देन 0 टेक मिरर इमेज Take reflection of right and left. ऐसे याद कर लो Take reflection of right इन left. Right? This is what you have to do. I'll explain you with the help of an example so that you are conversant with what I am talking about. Let's see an example here. So अगर ये graph बनाना था y is equal to ln mod x. That is the target, let's say. So फिर से वही that you have explained that mod x goes to x. So this graph is nothing but the basic graph of ln. X. We know that the graph of ln x is nothing but something like this. This is the graph of ln x where this is 1 comma 0. So if you take mod x goes to x, what happens? Let's apply this. You have drawn. So the first step is over. You have drawn y equal to fx. Second is remove left half. So there is no left half. So no need to remove. This is a very simple example. Take a reflection of right and left. So when you say take reflection of right and left, that does not mean that you have to remove the right part. Please mention. Right part apni jagah rahega. Ek left part or add ho jaga. So this is the final graph of y is equal to ln mod x. So if this was 1, so this will obviously be minus 1. So now if somebody asks you the domain, so why we are doing this, if somebody asks you the domain of this, what is the domain after seeing the graph? You can easily say sir, x belongs to r minus 0. 0 pe define nahi hai. That's it. Got it? This is how, this is the beauty of using graphs that you can easily answer very, uh, various questions. Let's take another example. Ab aapko diya jata hai 1 by mod x plus 1. राइट सो सबसे पहले इसमें आप क्या करोगे मॉड एक्स को एक्स डाल दोगे जो इनपुट है वो क्या है मॉड लगा हुआ है उस पर सो ये क्या बन गया वन बाय एक्स प्लस वन देन यू कैन ऑल्सो से सर लेट्स पुट एक्स प्लस वन इज एक्स सो दिस विल बिकम वाई इज इक्वल टू वन बाय एक्स ना लेट्स गो बैक एंड ड्रॉ दी ट्रांसमिशन तो सबसे पहला सिंपल ग्राफ इसका है वन बाय एक्स का दैट इज द शेप ऑफ वन बाय एक्स देन यू विल अप्लाई एक्स प्लस वन सो वट विल हैपन टू एक्स प्लस वन x plus 1 will say shift this graph yes 1 units leftward so leftward jib shift hoga to kuch is tarikhe ka ho jayega jo kaam pehle y axis kar raha tha that is x equal to 0 line ab wohi kaam kaun karega x equal to minus 1 line and the next is mod x goes to x mod x sa kehta hai remove left half so remove left half ab dekho ab interesting teeth hai so left half से अगर हम राइट हाफ को पहले देखें राइट हाफ में सिर्फ ये डायग्राम बन रहा था ठीक है और अगर ये पॉइंट निकालना है तुम्हें कि ये वाई इंटरसेप्ट व्हाट इज दैट वाई इंटरसेप्ट जस्ट पुट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो हेयर इफ यू पुट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो दिस कम्स आउट टू बी वन सो दैट मीन दिस इज जीरो कॉमा वन पॉइंट बट वॉट नाउ यू आर रिक्वायर टू डू रिमूव दी लेफ्ट हाफ लेफ्ट हाफ बिल्कुल भूल जाओ और सिर्फ राइट right की रिफ्लेक्शन ले लो सो दिस इज दी आंसर सो दिस इज दी आंसर ऑफ वन बाय मॉड ऑफ एक्स प्लस वन सो अगर आपसे अब इसका कोई डोमेन और रेंज पूछता है देन इट इज वेरी क्लियर सो डोमेन ऑफ दिस फंक्शन इज आर राइट रेंज ऑफ दी फंक्शन इज कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट इज द रेंज यस जीरो टू वन वेयर वन इज इंक्लूडेड बिकॉज इट इज टेकिंग वन बट इट विल नॉट टेक वैल्यू जीरो गॉट इट क्लियर ओके सो लेट्स एक अनदर प्रॉब्लम क्वेश्चन थ्री ऑन दिस सो जस्ट टू रेस्ट श्योर दैट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दी कॉन्सेप्ट दिस इज एक्सक्वेयर माइनस टू मॉड एक्स 
minus 3. Right? Let's take this or let's say plus 3. Now we need to draw the graph for this. How we are going to draw? Let's see. So now let's see what happens here. Here, first of all, you should not immediately apply that mod x goes to x. Why? Though you, if you apply directly, your answer will be correct because the question is based like that. But understand when you apply this particular transformation, then what you can understand is that everywhere, everywhere mod x should be there instead of x. Everywhere mod x. Right? So the whole input should be in terms of mod x, not x. Why we are getting the right answer even if we do that? Because x square can any given day be written as mod x square. That is why it saved you from that silly error. But please check, you cannot. So, for example, if I'm just taking a for example, for example, if you had something of this, that x cube plus mod x, then you cannot apply the transformation here. Very simple. Tab ye galat ho jayega. Kyun? Kyunki yaha par ye mod x aur ye x cube ek tarike se represent nahi kar sakte. They are two different entities. Right? We will talk about this diagram some, some time else. So coming back now, if you have applied this, that mod x goes to x, right? So this will be nothing but y equal to a simple quadratic. This will become a simple quadratic. And if you notice that d is coming out to be less than zero for this particular quadratic, right? At x equal to zero, if I talk about f zero, so f zero is coming out to be three. Got it? And uh, iska derivative agar hum nikale, y minimum kaha hai? Agar aap f dash two dekhoge, to f dash two jo aarega iska. Sorry, f dash 1 0 aega. So that means point of minima is 1. Yeah, if you have any karna chate, you can see that you can see that for the time being. So you can see that you can see that minimum can see that y minima will occur at, at x equal to 1. So if you have a graph, then you can see graph is since you have x square coefficient is positive. So we can say this is an upward parabola, but it will never touch the x axis because d is less than 0. So if you have this, यही चीज apply कर तो हमें transformation क्या लगानी है जरफ एक ही transformation है mod x goes to x so what will be the next graph then can you tell me भाई आप सबसे पहले क्या करना है remove left half so ये तो as it is हो गया ठीक है नहीं तो बस अब करना क्या है you just have to take reflection of this in the something like this so this total graph is now the answer of y is equal to fx जो आपका graph है ये उसका graph हो गया so this is how the question has to be understood and solved. So, if someone asks you a domain, then the domain is the same. The domain is the same. belongs to R. Range you can take easily. Why? Because this is the minimum point. Why? Min? This is the value. Nikal lo. X equal to 1. Pe. If you just find out the value very quickly, it is coming out to be 2. So, what will happen? 2 from infinity. All the values will take. And we will study the many 1, 1, 1 function. Ke mein. So, we can easily say that this is not a 1, 1 function. Okay, do, do we'll do in detail, but I hope the concept of how to draw y mod x graph is now clear to you.